Good morning, you guys. So we are about to go and get Liam's school supplies. Just me and Liam are going by ourselves. I'm gonna let him pick out some stuff, but to be honest with you guys, I don't know how strict they are on stuff. So like when it says that he can get, you know, pocket folders and things like that, I don't know if they have to be plain because it doesn't say, or if he can like pick out folders with stuff on it that he thinks is cute or what. So I don't know exactly what we're gonna do yet. I figured this year I'd let him kind of pick out stuff because last year we kind of rushed and got his supplies and just, just grabbed the stuff on his list. and. And didn't really I, I don't even remember if he was with us to be honest we did ask him what kind of backpack he wanted last year and he wanted Mario I think he did pick out his backpack anyways I stopped at a different place and got coffee this morning I did get a caramel macchiato made with oat milk like I normally do but I've had this place a couple of times and they're really strong though I've never had a coffee made with oat milk from them but it takes longer than the other one it does it did take a lot longer i went in there and there was a whole bunch of people in there and they don't have a drive through and so we were just kind of standing there for a minute I, they were fast at making the coffee it's just that there was a line it's a ton of college students in there so anyways we're gonna try her it's stronger it's kind of like when I used to add an extra shot of espresso at the other place that I went to or the other place I go to, but it's good, but I'm definitely not going to chug it or it's going to give me anxiety. But anyways, we're going to go ahead to Walmart, see what they have, get him some supplies. Can't believe summer is already almost over. Okay. So we have our list pulled up on our phone. Liam also is holding a light bulb because I need new light bulbs in my bedroom and that's how I remember what kind and what size I need. We have arrived in the school supplies. Oh, Liam, do you want Sonic instead? Because they have it now. So if you want it, we can swap it out. Do you want Sonic or do you want to keep, we already grabbed this the other day because the backpacks go fast and he wanted the Spider-Man, but at the time they didn't have Sonic at all. You need two bottles of this glue right here. So grab another one. So what color scissors do you want? Why are there many ones? That's what you need. Do you want red or blue? It says rounded point. So okay. this says pointed tip and this says blunt tip. You need a package of these Expo markers too. There you go. You put them in the They're cart. not all black. They're different you, colors. Does she need the different color ones then? Okay, so they only have the round tip and the blue, not the red. And then this has two black ones and also some colors. So we'll just do those. We need three packages of crayons for sure. You also need some glue sticks. It says two packages, but I'm just gonna grab three because they're only 54 cents. So let's send a little extra. Um, you want these can... pencils right here? Uh huh. 24. He actually picked the best deal because these are only 217. These over here are like four dollars, which I know these are the best pencils, but I don't think first graders care. It did say that you have to do a plastic pencil box. So do you want to do a blue one or do you want to do this clear one down here? Which one do you want? Um. You want the clear one? Yeah. They have this little double decker one, but they only have it in pink, but that is super cute. He needs a pack of pencil top erasers, and this is the only option unless I just want to get a package of white ones, but these look more fun. So we're going to grab these and I'll put them in the cart. Thank you. Okay, now we need notebooks. There's so many kinds of notebooks. I'm trying to find the right one. If I don't push the cart, I guess I'm just going to hold my coffee. Is that cool with you? You're doing a wonderful job. This is nice. I need to get the small card every time and then he can just push it for me. He's like slowing down every time like we go past the toy aisle. He kind of slows down and peeks at it. Well, it says baby wipes. I want to give her plenty. So I think I'm going to get her a little three pack. We're not going to go box with it, but we'll do, we'll do a three pack. Ultra sensitive. That'll work. Let's put them down here. Ooh. Grab these real quick. Liam is over here telling me what I should and shouldn't buy. He has put all of these in the cart saying that I need them. Why do I need them? What's that one for? To see your hair. To see my hair? Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the other ones? What's it's, that for? It's to put on your arm. That's to put on my arm? Bracelet. It's a bracelet? Okay, What's the, what about this? Why do you like that brush? Because you brush your hair. Yeah, but didn't you say you like, you like a squishy handle? Mm -hmm. You don't like this? Look at this. 
It's a hard handle though. Look. I know it's a hard handle, but it's supposed to be better for my hair. It says it is less damaging to my hair. And it's green. Does this do more damage? Uh, probably. But I don't look. know. It might just be the packaging. There's just one at a time. One <laughs> at a time. Oh, there's one at a time? Mm -hmm. This one's not one at a time? They're little, so. So it what? Brush your hair, or it does. Oh, oh, you're gonna break the brush. <laughs> Stop it. Wet brush has princess brushes. They have Moana, they have Ariel, Belle. I can't see all of them, but that is super duper cute. They've come out with so many. I got mine from over here and they have all these different brushes and combs and then they have all of these as well. I almost got this one right here. For some reason, obviously I wanted a green brush, but they have so many cute ones now. Okay, so we just got home and I'm gonna do a quick little back to school supplies haul for you guys. I showed some of what we grabbed in the store, but not all of it. So I'm just gonna go through it really quickly. But before I do that, I wanted to talk to you guys about this comforter. This is Rest Duvet's cooling comforter and I am quite literally obsessed with it. I know that I talk to you guys all the time about how I have trouble sleeping and mainly I have trouble falling asleep. It will literally take me hours to fall asleep whereas Josh is knocked out within like 30 minutes of laying down tops. But one of my main issues with being able to fall asleep is that I can't sleep whenever I'm hot. I cannot fall asleep when I'm hot and you guys know we have trouble keeping this house cool and so it takes forever at night for it to finally cool down to the temperature we have the thermostat set on. And I'm also not the type of person that can fall asleep or feel comfortable or cozy with no blanket on me. If it's hot in here Josh will just throw the blanket off of him and he can fall asleep. I can't do that. I don't feel comfortable if I don't like I need a blanket to be cozy. So I'll usually suffer. I'll put my comforter on me and I'll just be hot laying there trying to fall asleep. So what I really like about this comforter is that it is a cooling comforter. Whenever I pulled it out of the box, the first thing that I noticed was it was it was cool and it's literally the softest blanket I've ever felt in my life. Like I I want to show it to you guys, but I feel like you I don't know if you can see the softness on the screen you know what I mean but I just wish that you guys could feel it through the screen because it's like buttery soft and if you don't believe me me and Josh actually don't sleep with the same blanket like we have our own blanket on each side of the bed because we are blanket hogs that one right there is Josh's and whenever I took it out of the box I took it in the living room to Josh and I was like feel of this and he felt it and he he took it away from me he wrapped it around him and I was like bro you better not get this dirty before I film my video but I have had a much easier time falling asleep at night this thing literally stays cool it literally stays cool. I don't know how they managed to do that, but I am not hot whenever I am trying to fall asleep anymore. It can be warm in the house, but I lay under this comforter and it feels amazing. Another thing that I like about this comforter is like I said, it's a comforter and I don't know if you can tell, but it's not super bulky and thick like typical comforters, like the one I used to use. So I can still wrap this around me and bring it to the couch, like carry it around the house. And it's just, perfect. It's very easy to wash and dry. It's machine washable, of course, and it feels just as soft, just as soft after washing and drying it. I'm going to keep this thing forever. I have no interest in buying a new bedding set. I'm just going to buy new sheets and pillowcases and stick with this blanket. I'm going to have to fight Josh on it because he told me that literally after I let him fill it, he was like, we can share a blanket. I'm like, oh, now you want to share a blanket. Now we can share a blanket. The whole entire time we've been together, we've had our own blankets on our own sides of the bed. And he's like, well, it's king size, right? The blankets we already have are both king size. And he's never wanted to share blankets before. So, and I know that it's going to last for a long time because the cooling effect actually comes from the fabric structure and not from any chemical additives. So the cooling effect is not going to be compromised by washing it or drying it. And it's a lot safer for you. So if you know anyone else that has trouble with falling asleep because they're too hot, or if you know anyone that has like night sweats or anything like that, this would be a perfect gift for them. Or if you have that problem as well, if your home is hard to keep cool at night, this has been so, so helpful for me. I'm going to have the link down below for you guys as well as a discount code. The discount code is CourtneyD20 for 20% off. Definitely go and check them out. I highly recommend it. And I wanted to say a huge thank you to Rest for sponsoring today's video. 
So we're gonna keep this around us while I do the haul because I'm just so comfortable right now. But the first thing that we got for Liam, and we got it a couple days ago because I feel like the backpacks go fast. And honestly, they still had multiple of these, but I'm still glad that I went ahead and grabbed it. He wanted this Spider-Man backpack, which surprised me because he's not really, he doesn't like play any Spider-Man games or like, it's not something that he's super duper into but this is what he picked i asked him a bunch of times because i was like you don't i mean he had mario last year but i was like you don't want mario you don't want sonic you don't want me to try to find you like a pokemon a pokemon pokemon one and he was like no i want this one so he got this spider-man one it was 14.98 i've got a random bag here of other things that i bought so i'm just gonna show you guys feminine products i did get this brush i think this brush is so cute i know liam was trying to talk me into a different one and i i wanted to get the one that he suggested just because it was so cute to me that he was suggesting i get certain things he did tell me i needed to get this he told me oh you'll be able to put so much more soap or something like that so he he told me i absolutely had to get one of these loofahs because they had a pink one so got that and then i got some hand soaps just for the house i saw this and it's new and it's juicy peach who doesn't love peach so i don't know this is probably gonna go in my bathroom i oh, know actually i'm probably gonna put the antibacterial one anyway we got coconut water and mango and then i got this one that is antibacterial it's pomegranate and tangerine yes so he needed three pocket folders so we just got three different colors so we just got blue orange and green i asked him which colors he wanted and we just did it like that i was gonna let him pick out some that had like stuff on it but they had like two they had like two options and then the rest of them were like unicorns and rainbows and sparkles. There was like nothing for boys. And then he needed two 70, 70 sheet spiral notebooks. He picked red and green. Apparently he's ready for Christmas. They asked for a box of Kleenexes. So I just got this little two pack. I think it's the plus lotion one. I don't know. He needed some dry erase expo markers so we just got this how many is in here one two three six it's got two black two blue a green and a red got the 24 pack it said 20 pencils this one's 24 but it's fine he needed two things of glue they also asked for two packages of glue sticks and there were all different size packages so i didn't know what exactly they wanted so i just i got six sticks hopefully that's enough and then he needed three 24 packs of crayons so we got that one they only had the round like tip scissors in i think blue and then like pink he really wanted red but they were the they were the sharp ones or whatever we got his pencil top erasers they asked for baby wipes so i got a little three pack of the ultra sensitive baby wipes he needed a pencil case and they had so many they actually had cute ones for boys and for girls and on his list it says plastic only and none of the like cutesy ones were even made out of plastic to even get around that so he wanted this clear one so we got him the clear one and then it also said you didn't have to buy bags but it would be appreciated if you wanted to get something extra to get quart or gallon size bag so i just got the great value 25 pack and 20 pack some of each size just because they were like i think a dollar 98 or something it wasn't nothing too crazy so i just went ahead and grabbed that but that's everything and i literally love shopping for school supplies so it's kind of a bummer that they don't really need that much stuff and they're so particular about you know like plastic only and stuff like that haven't started shopping for his clothes yet we picked him up a random shirt at target the other day and i think every week we're just gonna buy him like a few shirts pair of shorts and stuff like that and i'm not gonna have him wear them until school starts so before sc the school year starts i will probably do like a clothing haul in one of my vlogs so you guys can see his new school clothes as well shimmer on our skin restoring everything within oh, 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 oh. dreamy breezy we go oh, oh, oh. easy easy on our tiptoes undercover agents of the other Oh, yeah.
Are you guys in here playing together? Yep. Yep. Look at him in his little muscle shirt. So cute. Hey, what's on your face? What is it? You don't know? Yeah, honey, wipe your mouth off. Can I wipe off your face? Yep. You get it? What is that? There you go. Much better. By the way, it is so bright in my room right now because I, two of the bulbs in here had went out. So we were working with just two little bulbs in the ceiling fan instead of four, but I got some more of the daylight light bulbs and replaced them. And it's literally so bright in here, which makes me really happy because normally it looks really like orange or yellow in here and I don't like filming in here. I really need to replace some more in, I think it's Miles' room. But I did find a four pack of them for $10, which was really good because I saw some where it was like one light bulb was like five or six bucks because the daylight ones are more expensive for some reason. I don't know if it's because they're daylight or if it's because they're LED, I don't know. But if you don't want your house to have like that orange yellow look for like if you film in your house or pictures or something, then you don't really want the soft white light bulbs. You want the ones that say daylight. It's just that they're a little bit more pricey. Also, I completely checked out at the self-checkout with all the supplies and everything and realized that I forgot the light bulb. So then we had to go back and get them. The one thing, I brought a light bulb in with me so I would know what size and what kind to get and forgot the light bulbs, but it's fine. It looks so much better in here, like so much better. I want the whole entire house to look this bright. Here's the little shirts that we just got at Target. We were in there the other day and so Josh, just look because we really do like the cat and jack brand so he got each kid a shirt there weren't very many options in miles's size so we got him this little tank top that is 18 months it says it's four dollars i don't know if it was any cheaper than that but it says four dollars and then we got bryce this one that has sharks all over it in extra small he's in the boy sizes now because he's so big and then liam josh said he didn't realize this had the pie symbol on it he just saw melting cheesy pizza when we got home he held the shirt up and i was like oh that's supposed to be like pizza pie and he looked at it and he was like i didn't even i didn't even notice the pie symbol was on there but Liam wears small six seven still. We actually got him some shirts that are like size eight by accident last year and I thought he'd be able to wear them for first grade and they're still too big. So, I mean, at least he'll have them for later on, but yeah, I really like the color of this one. Okay, so I just took this out of the box. Look how cute that is. What the heck? So it's a go green brush. It says the body of the brush is made from plant-based plastic. And then down here it says 45% less breakage, 55% less effort, we like that and 100% happier hair. I'm excited about this. And look, it comes in different colors as well. Now I'm about to go back to Walmart because I have a grocery pickup order and I'm not gonna do a haul in this video. It's gonna be the next video that you guys see. It's gonna be like a huge, massive Sam's Club and Walmart grocery haul. So be on the lookout for that. But we set the grocery pickup order from like three to four. So we're going back. Look who's awake. It's your mommy's messy bed home in the background. <gasps> they haven't got to see you today. <gasps> Hi. <gasps> Hi. Did you have a good sleep? A good nap? <laughs> <laughs> what have you done to your room, Goosh Goosh? This is unacceptable. Um. Okay. Rude. Hello. Well, hello. Can I come in? I'm coming in. We got clothes. We got mommy's flip flops over here. We got um, wipies that were taken out of their container. Are you gonna help me clean this mess? Are you gonna do crumbs? What's your daddy? What you do? This side of his room looks perfectly fine, right? And it, what are you doing? And then you come over here, and it's like, oh. yes. <laughs> That's your mommy's me. He always wants to get loose. He always wants to get loose now. Why don't you just want to love me and snuggle mommy? Mommy wants to snuggle you. I love you so much. He's like, just give me the camera right now. I guess I'm going to clean up this room. I'm so tired. I filmed like kind of like two videos in one day because I just filmed that grocery haul and so now I'm just like pooped. But I hope that you guys enjoyed 
this vlog and enjoyed shopping with me and Liam. If you're new here, I have three boys, ages six, three, and one, and we do a lot of vlogs and hauls and shopping and all of that good stuff on this channel. So I would love for you to stick around and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.